Hi everyone, this is Ben Songroth, Regional Education Technology Coordinator for the Learning Technology Center of Illinois. And in this video today, we are going to explore Adobe Spark Page. If you're unfamiliar with Adobe Spark Page, what it is, it's a way for your students or you to create simple websites that can be shared out via link or print it off if you choose to do that. It's an awesome tool that allows us to kind of collect and curate resources and put them into a website that's not hard to build. So while Google Sites may seem you know, hard, hard to understand, uh, other website tool creations can be confusing. What Adobe Spark page does is gives you a very professional looking web page, but it's only one page. So it just continues to scroll up and down as opposed to some of them that have branches off of them that you can kind of get a little carried away with how many pages you put onto your website. So this is a great tool for kids to get creative with and take some ways of using simpler or other forms of assessment that you've done before. Maybe it's writing a Google Doc or uh, just simply a, a presentation that you did in Google Slides, transferring that over to Adobe Spark page and having kids present from it, or maybe take their Google Doc that they used to write and then transfer that over to Adobe Spark page so it's a more creative expression of their learning. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and jump into how we make these awesome web pages. All right, so this is uh, Adobe Spark. And if you're new to Adobe Spark, in order to get to this page, you're going to have to go to spark.adobe.com and then click login up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Uh, log in with your Google account or other account, depending on which one you're using. And then you'll probably, if it's the first time you got in, you'll go to a black screen. You're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of that uh, select page or post or whatever you're going to do uh, and then you will get to the creation page but every other time after you log in you will get to a page that looks like mine uh, so in this video we are talking adobe spark page so we're going to show you how you can make quick websites that are very professional looking or your students can make them uh, and then how we might be able to transform uh, learning with those so Inside of Adobe Spark here, we're gonna go ahead and create our Spark page. So to do that, we're gonna click the big blue plus sign right here in the middle. We get some templates here, so if you want to click on web pages, you can see you can actually get some pretty good uh, you know, templates of Adobe Spark pages that you can do. But for our purposes, we're gonna go up to the right-hand side and we're gonna click Start from Scratch and select Web Page. Once this loads up, you'll see that we have our beginning of our web page design. And at first, you're probably looking at this like, all right, I'm not exactly sure what I'm even doing inside of Adobe Spark page. Well, I want to take this moment to show you, like, this is where we're going to build it. However, we also want to look at what it looks like in order when it's finished. So this is an example of one that is finished. So this is one from a high school classroom studying Brown versus Board of Education. You can see what we're doing with Adobe Spark page is we're making this web page and it's scrolling. So you don't have web pages branched off of it. You're just going to continuously scroll down this web page. And then students can add text. They can add buttons, which are actually links to outside sources. They can add images. And then this is a really cool thing. This is called a glide show. So you can see as the page, as I'm scrolling down, the image stays put, but the, everything kind of just glides over top of it, which is really neat. And then as we continue to scroll down here, you'll see that students can also add in photo collages. So we'll see how to do that in a little bit, but this is an example of a photo collage. And then this is another example of a glide show with text over top of it. So this is a really professional looking web page, and lastly, a video also embedded. Uh, it's a professional looking web page and it looks like it was very difficult to build but it really was not in fact here's an example of one from a third grader so a third grader made this one while they were studying helen keller in class and you can see that she was able to drop in images text videos and this is just a really creative way of expressing what the student learned about Helen Keller, much better than just a simple Google Doc that they would have typed up. So this is kind of some of what you can do. Now let's look at how you do that. So I'm going to go back over to my Adobe Spark. And here's my template. So this is my blank canvas with which I'm going to work. And here's the thing to remember about Adobe Spark page is that as you're building it out, you always want to, it tells you what it wants you to do. So for example, add a title. If I click on that, I can add my title. And then I can add a subtitle down here that if I want to. Then I'm going to add a picture. 
for the background. So the, the key with Adobe Spark is to always follow the plus sign. So I'm going to find the plus sign here, click photo, and then I can now upload a photo or find a photo from any of these other areas, including a free photo search. So I'll just do a search for a computer. That looks good. Now that's my background for my Adobe Spark. And then as I scroll down, there's a plus sign and it's asking me to add something to my story or to my Adobe Spark page. And so those things that I can add are pictures, text, buttons, um, pictures and text I think are pretty self-explanatory, but buttons, what that's going to be is uh, the example that we saw back here in this page. This is a button, so it's a link to an outside website. So that's what you would do with a button. Videos, when you bring in a video, you can actually bring in the link from YouTube, Vimeo, or Spark Video. So if you've watched our video on how to create video with Adobe Spark, your students can make an Adobe Spark video, paste the link in here, and then it could be embedded into the page. Photo grids, we saw those. Those are just a collection of photos that would have something in common. The glide show, I'm going to show you a glide show. So we're going to go ahead and select a, a, an image here at random. Uh, we'll save it. And then now this is our glide show. So you can see the, the picture itself is just going to be scrolled over. However, there is this box that pops up that can allow me to add another picture, text, button, or video that glides along with the uh, photo in the background. So I'm going to select... that and then now you can see I could even change the focal point of this so that's kind of where it's going to focus in on um, the image as it glides over top and then as I scroll down again the box pops up and then the last thing over here after glide show is split layout and what split layouts can allow you to do is kind of add your picture on this side and then perhaps you want to add another photo so you have two photos or you could add text explaining the photo that you put on this side you can swap them by using the middle button here and that's going to allow you to swap so there's uh, quite a few different things that you can do uh, with the split image. But again, the key to this is to always make sure you follow the plus sign at the bottom. So I think it's a really cool tool. So once your students are done with it, what can they do? Well, up here, you're going to see the settings icon. Really, all this is going to do is allow you to add a header or a footer. There's not a whole lot of different settings options in here. The preview button is going to show you what it looks like once it's been published. So you can kind of get an idea. Those plus signs are gone, and your students could just scroll back and forth to see what it looks like. The present button is going to do a similar thing, but it's going to take up your whole screen. So this is a, actually a great tool to use as kind of an alternative to a presentation. So your students can use this instead of maybe making a, a slideshow. Uh, so it's a pretty neat option. And then the button over here is the plus sign. This is actually so your students can collaborate. So you can have them invite others to join their Adobe Spark and create with them and edit and manipulate it and at the same time. And then over here, at the, finally at the right over here, you have themes. So you see you can change your theme, which will like kind of update your text colors, your text fonts. Um, you can see how that changes as I select the different uh, themes. So that's the way you would be able to have control over what style of text you're using uh, inside of your Adobe Spark page. And then now once you're done with it, you want to share it. So your students, when they share these, after they click share, they have a couple of options here. Again, they could invite students this way. Um, or they could print it. So if you students wanted to print this, uh, you wanted them to print it out, it can actually print it out as a, uh, as a PDF if you wanted to. Or if we go up to the share button again, we'll do the share link. So this is what I like about it, is you do a publish and share link. And this is a lot going to allow us to now take our Adobe Spark page, send it out to whoever we need to send it out to. And a couple of key details in here, you're gonna wanna make sure you have to pick a category. Um, you can turn on or off your author uh, attributions. I, I don't know. I'd rather just keep it off so that way it's not out there. Uh, then also the get noticed piece, you can turn that off as well. Um, so that way it's not featured on the Adobe Spark website. And then when you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and click create link. And it takes just a minute to create that link. And now I have my link. So this link now becomes a web page. So if I click on here, new tab, and then paste that link in, this will take me to my website that I just built. It's pretty great, eh? Uh, and if I go back here, I have the same options to share that I do in all the other Spark tools. But if you haven't watched those videos yet, the great thing about Adobe Spark is that we can share these directly to Google Classroom. So if you are using Classroom, your students can make their Adobe Spark page. If you have an assignment open, 
uh, with a due date. That's the key, has to have a due date. Uh, students can just click on classroom, the box will pop up, and then they can select your class from the list that will show up here, and then from there it'll scan for open assignments, and they will find the assignment for the Adobe Spark page. They can select it, and then they will hit uh, submit, and they can turn their Spark page into you. So they don't have to worry about copying a link, pasting a link back in Google Classroom, any of that. They can just simply click the hyperlink to Google Classroom, and it'll drop it off right there. So that's a pretty great feature. And that is essentially how we make our Adobe Spark pages. I hope now that you've had a chance to tour through Adobe Spark page with me, that you see some of the potential that's out there for students to create with this. We've seen students as young as second, first grade uh, create with Adobe Spark page all the way up through seniors in high school. It's a really versatile tool that allows kids to be creative with their expression of their knowledge. So instead of having students write, like I said before, just a a Google Doc that's kind of hard to manipulate images and you can't embed videos into a Google Doc, Adobe Spark page gives us that ability to take that Google Doc essay and transform it into something a little bit more powerful, a little bit more magical. I think it's a really cool way for kids to make these web pages and share them out with the world and share their knowledge in a new and different creative fashion. And you can app smash all of the other Adobe Spark tools into an Adobe Spark page. So you can have them make graphics in Adobe Spark post, bring them into Adobe Spark page. They make a video in Adobe Spark video, bring it into the same Adobe Spark page that they made the graphic for. So it's a really neat way to kind of combine all of these different tools into one easy to display uh, artifact. So uh, I hope you found the video helpful and thank you for watching. Please go ahead and check out the rest of our creative video series on the LTC's YouTube channel. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>